So, I got a pretty crazy story for you guys. How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to another video on the channel and today we have my remote YCS recap. I just woke up from day one, didn't manage to make it to day two uh, because of the time difference. As you know, I'm in the EU and the North American YCS, uh, remote YCS actually took place yesterday. You're probably seeing this before it even concluded, but the time difference is really, really big. It's like 10 hours uh, ahead of Pacific time. So I was dueling until very late at night. It was pretty nuts. It was really, really fun. And I wanted to recap the event for you guys and also tell you this incredible, almost illegal story. Before we begin, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you are new as always. And yeah, so the recap for this remote YCS that I participated in. I'm not even sure how many participants were there and the tournament is still going by the time I'm recording this and probably by the time you guys are watching it as well. So uh, yeah, but I'll just jump to the beginning. I played Branded Bestial Shizu and you will see the deck profile tomorrow on my channel. I ended up going four wins, two losses, and one draw, and dropping at that point because it was already 6 a.m. where I'm at, and I couldn't even keep myself up for another round, especially when I was on the bubble. So it all begins with the deck submission process. So this event is um, organized by an external website, not by Konami itself, but by an actual website that does all the deck lists uh, and the registration and the signups and whatever. And you sign up through there, you build your deck list through there. It's a pretty weird deck list building tool. It's very different from what we know from Euron or just sending a picture over Dueling Book. It's, it's very different and it's kind of clunky. And I've seen other people like Jesse Cotton mention that they also had deck list errors. But mine was pretty substantial and funny. I go ahead, do it like I think it was one hour before submission time, final submissions, I go on, I build my deck list, I recheck, double check with dueling book, everything, and I submit, then I go over the list as I'm putting the cards, the physical cards together, and I see that I actually have two Despian Quartus and no Alba Lanatus in my deck. So what actually happened is that I was adding the cards one by one manually you have to like type it then you pick out of a list you don't really see the cards then you add them to your deck list you can either add them to the side deck the extra the system itself is very very clunky it's very very like poorly built as a as a user experience designer i can tell you that and this is why those mistakes are actually being made and when i checked the deck list i saw that i had Quaritus. I go over the extra deck and then another Quaritus in one. It doesn't actually even combine the items to one item. It just puts one item as Quaritus and the other item is one Quaritus as well. That's why I saw I had 15 cards in my extra deck and I figured I was done. And I actually didn't realize I had missed all Bolinatus in my extra deck and I was at two Quaritus. Thankfully, it wasn't the best, like the worst card to miss in my extra deck. You know, you sometimes use it. It's good to have in certain scenarios, but it's not like you missed Mirror Jade and you can't actually participate in the tournament. I was trying to sort of like figure out what I can do with that situation. So I'll go over to Discord, talk to the judges, try to get some help. The judges were really nice uh, for the events the, and, and they tried to help me. But unfortunately, all of them said that deckless submissions are final. I understand that I should have definitely double, triple, quadruple checked by my deck list. The fact that you can revert it a day before the event starts is really, really odd to me. I know that in EU events, you can actually do that. You can actually revert the deck list. But I was like, all right, we play with two Quirtus, I suppose. The, the, the day of um, is here. Uh, I'm, I'm getting ready for the YCS and I'm trying to go to the judges lounge again in discord to try to get the head judge to maybe help me revert my deck list to no avail no success can change it whatever is submitted is is final and i'm like all right sure judges again were really nice and tried to help actually follow it up as i was dueling uh, if everything was okay if i managed to to fix it but he couldn't change it so i go over the list once again and i see something suspicious my second mistake was putting Shadal Construct in my extra deck. And if you don't know 
should all construct. It's not the fusion you're thinking of. It's actually this link monster right here called Shadal Construct. It's a link monster that blah 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 does something with Shadals. It's not El Shadal Construct, which is the fusion monster that I needed for my deck in order to get my Shizu cards and Brandon the High Spirits working appropriately and searching, sending them to the graveyard, like doing all the, the spicy stuff that the deck needs to do. So I was like, oh no. At this point, I was like, I might just not participate in the event. I'll just ask for a refund, you know, enjoy my time, go to bed at a reasonable hour and, and just screw it, you know? But at like, I think five minutes to, to the beginning of the event, I was going through my bulk, actually trying to find this card because I, I wasn't even sure I had it. I think I pulled it once from dual power, but I, at the same point, I also could not not have had it at all. So I take out my El Shadal construct and Elbow and Atlas from my deck. I put in my second Quiritus and the Link Monster Shadal construct. And I know that if I open Brand High Spirits and the Shizu card, I'm screwed. Like I have nothing to do with that at that point anymore. I still go on to do pretty well in the event, even almost bubble if I would have just continued and won another game. That like that extra deck space wasn't that important, but it was I was I was actually losing it. So I was going over with friends on Discord on like do I actually risk it and not put the actual cards? Like, am I gonna get deck checked up until top cut? Maybe? Like who's gonna deck check me? There's 400 tables. So we go game one, before we, like, we roll the dice, judge enters, hi, you guys have been selected for a deck check. And I'm like, thank the Lord that I found this card and put it in my deck and actually put to Quiritus. I'm sure that because of all the, the messages to the judges, I actually got selected for, for a deck check, um, which makes sense, I suppose. I was like, yeah, I don't have the cards it's gonna be hard to find them blah 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 eventually i managed to find them it was sheer luck like it was five minutes before the event i was sleeving them up um we get deck checked my deck is fine <laughs> we go on to play so uh yeah the the only last thing before i go into the round by round breakdown it's not gonna be very long is that again i started we started playing at 7 p.m my time my local time that was round one I went to sleep at 6 a.m. I went through seven rounds and there were eight. There was actually one more round. Unfortunately, there was also almost like an hour, between an hour and an hour, hour and a half between rounds. And that's that's kind of nuts. That was very unfortunate. I think I think like, you know, playing your round seven after 10 hours of, of dueling, um, at 6 a.m. in the morning is rough. Of course, this is an NA event. I should have known that. But, like, the NA folks also went to bed at, like, 1 a.m. I don't think that should ever happen. But I understand. Like, the, the time, like, the organization wasn't, wasn't like, you know, on time. But, um, yeah, that's that was fine. I think the event overall was really fun. So, round by round, really quickly, round one. Wait. 95% of you are not subscribed? Come on guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you are new for more awesome content. If you want 5% off any single or sealed product and want to support me and the channel, head over to tierzerogames.com and use code GALZO5 at checkout. I go up against Scareclaw Adventurer, I win the die roll, I set up a board, I banish their normal summon and they just scoop because I, I know that deck really really well. Um, I think I I popped their Fateful Adventure with my uh, Branded Beast. Then they normal summon Scareclaw Acro. I just banish it, and I know that's all she wrote from there. I think he takes round two. I think he ashes my... He does something, I don't really remember, but he interrupts my plays. He has enough damage and, and like, adventure stuff, and I'm like, okay, that's, that's fine. We can go to game three. Game three, you know, the special. I put on two Masquerades on board. Um, I fill up the entire main monster zone with monsters in defense position, so he can't OTK me through two masquerade and like a lot of monsters. He cannot OTK me, so he he brings himself down to 200 life points. 
with a tryhard on board, but it's not enough damage. I need to take it. Um, 2 1. That's the first round. Round 2, Brandon Bistil. Very tough matchup for my deck. Um, my deck does really well against like Flu and Shizu is like, wow, it's like amazing. Sprite is just a little bit too rough. Um, I lose 2 0 to this guy. Um, game one, he ashes my branded fusion. I'm like, I didn't think this was an option, man. And um, game two, he opens gamma. He gammas my, my Alubur. Um, he, um, I, I set two, he twins them, and then he just goes on to do full combo. Then I activate a bestial, and after like main two, um, he activate talents to get rid of the one card I have in hand. So 2 0 destroyed me round three i draw against draco slayers so i lose the die roll i win game one because of queridus thank god uh, my, my first and second queridus uh, they were really really clutch um game two ended in time unfortunately i should have scooped game two earlier um i i couldn't really play i had sphere mode but not a lot of follow-up um besides that I knew I couldn't win that game and I should have scooped. He won by 50 life points, so it was a, it was a draw. So he won game two. Should have scooped earlier. This is something that I'll go over with the deck list, but it's something that you really, really need to know like how to do. You need to know, like good players know when to scoop. Uh, and I knew I should have scooped. I thought about like, okay, this, is, this would be the, be the good time to scoop because I scoop, we go game three. I put on a Masquerade or two. He cannot play through it. I mean, it's Draco Slayers. Round four, the guy was so funny. He was playing Sword Soul Zephra Metal Foes. He didn't draw well. Um, I won. I won game one, game two. He was like, "I'm out, man. Enjoy, have fun." He was from Hawaii. Cool guy. Um, round five versus the Shizu tier. Um, we start. I win um, game one, and. We side, we start siding, we finish siding, we roll the die, judge comes in, deck check. I'm like, all right, at, th at this point, I already know. I feel bad for my opponent, to be honest, because I know it's probably because of me. But um, I I was like, fine, with the side deck in, we just go. So the, the, the risky part about getting deck checked at this point is what happened to both of us. We both bricked really hard, but fortunately, I bricked on three Alubers. And he bricked on like all traps or something. He he got no names. Uh, it was unfortunate because in the deck check they they ask you to to sort it by monster spells and traps, and you know it messes up with your shuffling and you, like you know you're stressed stressed on time. And you gotta like go back to the game fast. So uh, unfortunately he bricked. I won 2-0. Uh, she's a tier round six. Flandries, uh, another 2-0. Masquerade takes game one. I like put up a, a solid board. He didn't interrupt me at all. Um, and, and he goes duality. I immediately chain banishment to summon a masquerade. I know like what's going on. I summon a masquerade immediately. He burns himself like quite a lot. And I managed to, to, to swing through that game two. He, he does like full combo basically. I, I'm sure he wasn't like he was a little bit new to the game, maybe, or a little bit nervous. Uh, he also told me, yeah, like, you know, he was anxious about, like, you know, playing. I was like, it's all good, man. It's just Yu-Gi-Oh. But um, I opened kind of the nuts. Droplet. Zombie World. So I put in the Zombie World. Droplet. Um, for some reason, he doesn't chain, like, the trap or the map. I don't I don't really know what happened there. Um, but I managed to, like, put up, put up a, a Titanic Lad on board. And sort of lock him up, like lock him out of his own link monsters as well, because he had the barrier statue and just like attack for game. Round seven, the last one. Uh, I lost game one. I lost the die roll as well. Lost game one. I won game two, um, but it was like, you know, it took me a while to win game two. We ended up going into game three with three minutes on the clock. So he goes, he he combos. I'm like, fine, it's all right. I'm just waiting for like a scatter shot. Or like, you know, some way that he can climb up to like sprint or something. But he doesn't do that. He goes for um, normal summon Merly, misses the mill, activates um, Magnemite from his hand to summon. Uh, I should have, in hindsight, 
chained my own Serenir to that, but it wouldn't have mattered because he had Dogwood in hand. He he actually that was a, a good like that was a good play. Um, he goes to summon the Magnemite. I don't. I hold my Serenir. He goes up to Elf. Elf try to summon the Merly, and I'm like, is there a way that he goes gigantic here and summons like? I don't know, like something that does damage. So I Serenir the the Merly, and he chains Spooky Dogwood. It's like we're at time already, so it's already over. If I have another Bistral in the hand and I chain it to the Dogwood, I win because my Serenir doesn't get summoned, and uh, I he doesn't gain life points, and he actually loses half of his life points uh, during the end phase. So I win that game. But I didn't have another one, and I might have already used it before. Um, but that was round seven. I end on four to one, and I go to bed at 6 a.m. With, with the sun rising in the east. Um, yeah, I was, I mean, if I win another one, I get enough points to, to make the bubble. You know, the, it's fine. The, the, the time difference was, was really like a killer. So uh, yeah, it was crazy. I'm really, really happy with, with how I played. The deck was insane. You're going to see the deck profile tomorrow. So don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the bell to get notified when it actually gets uploaded. And I'm, I'm again, really happy. It was really fun. Awesome opponents. Really good experience. Took way too long. But, you know, it's like <laughs> it's events nowadays. What can you do? Uh, yeah, so I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, look forward to the deck list because it's, it's actually one of the strongest deck lists I've played this format. Like it, it eats Ishizu tier for breakfast. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, I know it was a little bit long, but uh, yeah, that was uh, that was my crazy YCS experience. Uh, leave a thumbs up, as I've said, if you liked the video and subscribe if you are new. Also, if you want to support the channel further, please consider maybe becoming a member. It's really cheap and it helps support me and the channel um, a lot. And I would really appreciate it. Access to members only chats, members only live streams, and of course, awesome emotes uh, for you to show off in the chat. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.